Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. We're in Gonzales for the 51st annual Jambalaya Festival. It's the last day, it's Sunday. We're down to 12 cooks. We're gonna see who the champion is today. We're gonna have some good food. We got some good rides. We got some good music coming at you too. So hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it inside the air conditioner with yeah. MC Todd Long. Thank you, man. Thank How's you. it going? It's hot out there. It is. It's hot and then it rained and then it's muggy, and, but it hadn't rained as much. Now what uh, we were talking about earlier, and I'd like to let y'all know out there, the Jumbo Festival takes three days to have right. now these cooks are these 12 cooks that are here now are on their third round of cooking so tell us what they've been through to get to this uh it's been kind of rough you know some of them started friday some of them started saturday and it was 85 i think and then uh, last night we whittled it down to 32 those 32 came back and cooked this morning found out at about 12 30 what 12 are moving on and then they started at two o'clock and they'll cook uh one more and each time it's bigger. Like I think it's 10 pounds in the beginning, 15 in the second round. Now this will be like a 20 pound. And this is chicken only. But it's, yeah, the whole thing's been chicken it's only. It's always been chicken. Chicken, oh, you know, the chicken here over a fire. Gotcha, gotcha. Now uh, the, the field of 12, uh, do you have a dark horse in there? I see we got two rookies, or tell me a little bit about Yeah, two rookies. I mean, one of the rookies finished, uh, I think, Jason White finished first place out of the in that round. Oh wow! So yeah, he did good. The other rookie finished fourth. I think that's Brandon O'Lynn. I got two world champions in there: uh, Lee Elliser and um, man, I'm drawing a blank on who the other guy gotcha, is. Gotcha, gotcha. But It'll we got a good to hard me. twelve. Oh, and then we have a uh, horse fly who's only 21. So if he wins, he'll be the youngest champ to All win. Right. Yeah. All right. All right, bro. We're gonna see who gets crowned today. We're Thank gonna have you. a champion. All right, we're gonna have one. All right, y'all, I got with me the president of the Jambalaya Festival Association, Mr. Wally Tallion. How's it going, Mr. Wally? All right, everything good, man. The rain comes in and goes and leaving us alone when later part of the day is when we got our feature bands that playing and hadn't stopped our cooking because they've been cooking since 6 o'clock this morning and yesterday morning the same. We've been here since Friday cooking and uh, we're down to the final 12. Final 12. And we're going to pick that winner around 6.30. We've got our new queen this year, and uh, Brooke Everett, and she's uh, gonna be going with our past champion, Jumala champ, to uh, France this year. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now, I know it takes a lot of people to put this on, Mr. Wally. You have volunteers from all around and several sponsors. We do about 50 functions a year as far as giving back to the community and charity events and civic organizations, and they're good enough to come and help us at our festival. And that's what it's all about, helping each other with a nonprofit when you don't have anybody on the payroll, especially right. me. Right. And uh, to help and see the people that want to help you do things like that, because they know that we are community-minded. And if the city of Gonzales and the Ascension Parish both gives us so much help, man, I tell you, it's unreal. And Tour Ascension and, and uh, ETEL are two of our major sponsors. We have Riviana Food that supplies rice for us year round that we cook. It's not just at this right. festival, we cook all year long. And Manda out of Baton Rouge has been, Bobby Yarbrough has been one of the best. Never see him blink as far as giving us uh, sausage all year long. Wow, wow. So that makes a difference when you're cooking and can support some of these other charities and stuff that we do. The, the money that we make here goes back into the community. And y'all just put it right back out. Yeah. And that's what it is, y'all. It, it takes all these folks coming together to help put this on. Now you see all these people out here having a good time. 
Well, their uncles and aunts and friends are over here helping put it on. So y'all do a fine job out here, Wally. And we're going to see who gets crowned this year's champion. So uh, good luck to them. Yeah, I uh, can't wait to see. Uh, he got a lot of work, work on his hands as far as uh, replacing O.K. Lanou, a good champ. And like I said, he cooked at the majority of the events that we went to. And when he can't go, I'll go. So uh, we're looking forward to this coming year, man. There we go. All right, y'all, hang on. We're going to get a champion. See if we got any line dancers out there. All right, y'all, I made it over to the midway, and it's one of my funnest games I ever play. The old quarter slider. As you can see, this little spot I've been having right here, it's got a bunch of fives and ones. That's the bait. I didn't spend $10,000 trying to win this $5 bill. That's the bait. No, I didn't really spend 10000 but I spent a couple. But uh, this is some of the fun you can have at the Jambalaya Festival, though. These coin games, kids' rides, burgers, po' boys, definitely the Jambalaya. But uh, some of the fun to be had out here is in the midway of the Jambalaya Festival. to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Vaseline Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaseline Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaseline Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Rouse Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com
Kirby Keller, Aaron Wiley Lanou for judge. Our next cook, he's cooked here with a shaved head before. He's cooked here with a normal head of hair. He's even cooked here with a mullet. Hey, I, I don't know what he got going on. He's follically challenged. Um, Mr. David Vadreen. His helper is Frank Benedetto. They're sponsored by Gator Storage. David has been here before, but he's had a helper, Sharky the Sabertooth Clue Eye. So where's Sharky at? Where is he, Dave? Vacation. Couldn't make it. Frank, you're doing a great job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, David Vadreen, Frank Benabeno, Cajun Storage. Our next cook, I don't know how many times he's been in the finals here, but he has been in the finals at a lot of cooking contests. I never get tired of saying his name. I've known this guy my whole life. Tooney King. Yes, Helper Austin King, sponsored by David Wilcox, State Farm Insurance. You got anything you want to say, buddy? You good? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tony King, Austin King. Our next cook, um, this guy started off as a helper. Uh, started off cooking in the mini pots. He's won the mini pots. His helper has actually won the mini pots. She, that's right, I said she, won the women's division in the mini pots earlier this weekend. He was T. Wayne's helper in 2011. He's trying to make it on his own. Jay Alexis. Helper Blair Alexis. Sponsored by my good friend Adam McCarty, State Farm. What do you, you got anything you want to say, Jay? One thing about it, I had the most beautiful helper all weekend long. Hey, Get together. Get close. And look, if you've done this before, you know it's a grind, start to finish. And this young lady took on the task, and she completed it with me. And I thank her. Woo! Thank you, Jay. All right, Jay and Blair. Our next cook. Somebody told me earlier, they said, man, y'all got a lot of young cooks. So we took the oldest cook's age and the youngest cook's age, added them up, divided them by 12. Teach y'all some math. That's how you get an average. The average age of the cook this year is 33 years old. Well, this guy became the youngest man to ever win this championship, Lee Elliser. His helper is Reese Elliser. They won it in 2015. No, yeah. Is it 15? 15. So uh, they go try to do it again. How about it? Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Elliser, Reese Elliser, sponsored by Jody's Jambalaya. The next guy, um, I've known his dad my whole life. I don't know him that well, but he's a great kid. He's a good cook. Clint. Broussard. His helper is Dwayne Burke. They're sponsored by Carlico Cafe. Uh, I know Luke's probably out here somewhere. Thank you, Luke. And uh, they'll be open late on Thursday nights. But uh, Carlico Cafe, you anything, same thing, Clint? You good? Clint Broussard, Dwayne Burke. Carlico Cafe. This next guy, him and his cook for years one cook one was the helper the following year he was the helper the other guy was the cook the other guy was the cook he was the helper they did that about six times well last year right here the stopwatch stopped they won the guy cooking wasn't him his partner won last year this year he couldn't cook with him he decided it's my year I'm going to do it Tyler Billingsley Michael McLeod is his helper, is his cousin. T. Wayne's Cajun cooking. This guy cooks jambalaya year round, ladies and gentlemen. He's a great guy, make a great champ. Tyler Billingsley, helper Michael McLeod, T. Wayne's Cajun cooking. Tyler, you got anything you want to say? 
You good? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Billingsley. All right, so some of these guys I know a little bit about. They've been here before. They've cooked here before. They've done well. This next kid is a rookie. It's a rookie. One of two rookies in the top 12. Brandon O'Lynn. Where you at, Brandon? We had 84 cooks cook. I don't think we had but four rookies all together. Three of them made the top 32. Two of them made the top 12. Representing the next generation of cooks, Brandon O'Lynn. He had a, another helper in the first round, picked up a new helper in the second round, Bart Man email, Bell and Thieves. How about a big round for this rookie? That's hard to do. Hard to do. When we talk about the cooks just getting younger and younger and younger. This guy came on this stage twice with his dad. His dad won twice. 2014 and 2016. Well, last year, 2017, he said, Daddy, I think I want to cook by myself. And he did, and he did great. He was 20 years old. He made it into the top 12. He's 21. He's back. Brett, the host, fly, Rim. Austin Gotro. Land Co. Construction. This is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. of Jambalaya. Brett, the Hawks fly in. You good? I'm good, Mr. Tom. I'm good. I'm real good. Next guy, I had the pleasure of walking from across the street with his mom, Jared. Jared Marshawn. Come on, buddy. Chad Dixon is the helper. And uh, I love his sponsor's commercials, man. They, they got the best commercials. Four. That's right. Sponsored by Dudley and DeBosia, injury lawyers. That lady on that commercial said they made me feel like I was part of Dudley and DeBosia. <laughs> Jared Marshall, Chad Dixon, Dudley DeBosia. All right, we got a rookie, another rookie, who actually finished first place last night out of the top 32. We know nothing about this guy except for what we've been told. His sponsor, Stephen Bateman, told me about him Friday night and said, write his name down. He'll be there Sunday afternoon. Jason White. <laughs> Matt Gotro. Sponsored by American Pump. So far, he's going to be the rookie of the year unless Brandon O'Lynn wins it all. So, that's 11 people. Number 12. He was going to be on this stage no matter what happened tonight. He's your current champ. He would be on the stage to hand that paddle that Wally Italian is carrying to the next champ. But... He fooled around, and he made it. Cade Lanou. Picked him up a helper uh, in the finals. Mr. Tyler Burke, sponsored by T. Wayne Abshire. Your 2017 current champ, trying to be the second person to ever go back-to-back. -back. Cade Lanou. All right, you've gotten to know your top 12. So, are we ready? You ready, Wally Tay? Come on, Kay. All right, Kay, you got your... You got the ticket or, or Tyler got the ticket? Tyler got the ticket. All right, let's wait for Tyler to get out there. Uh, Lane Gotro, come on up here, buddy. If these guys win, they get this beautiful trophy they also get a ring made by Lane tell us about that ring Lane you don't want to tell them about it it's a nice ring Cade's already got one Lee's got one ten of those other guys don't even have one to share 
So uh, thank you, Lane. It's a beautiful ring. Cade's actually is a little different than the one he won last year. It says 50 on it. He would like to have one that looks normal. So, all right. We got this trophy. We got the paddle. Tyler Burke, you got the ticket. You ready? All right. All right. Where's my cooks at? All right, y'all out there? Okay, spread out. And before we pick a champ, we got to let Mr. Wally tell you. Tell y'all how much he appreciates you guys. Wally! Good evening. I just want to thank these cooks, man. I know what it's all about. We just get behind that hot fire, and these guys had to cook three jambalayas to get where they're at right now. So uh, I really appreciate them because we wouldn't have this festival without them, and they are part of the festival. I couldn't do it without all the volunteers, and I want to thank all of them. We had about 10 different volunteer groups from different organizations that came help us today. So it was good to have some extra help, man. It, that's what it's all about, volunteer. We're a nonprofit organization, volunteer, everybody that belongs to our organization. So I want to thank all of them. And that, without those volunteers, we couldn't make it. The thank of the city of, of Gonzalez. That's where I'm proud of. From here, Boney Arsenal has been real good to us, man. We love this place that we at. It's such a community-minded place to come to. And it's all about y'all. We support the community. And that's what it's all about. The parish helps us. The city helps us. But we donate over 50 funds in a year. This is what the champion does go cook for different charity organizations, non-profit, civic organizations. That's what it's all about. Now thank all of you for showing up and hope y'all enjoyed some good bands this weekend. And you got, I know you got two coming up that's real good. Thank you, bro. All right, before we pick a champ, we want to thank all of our police officers, firefighters, EMS, all of our... Uh, service personnel thank you guys god bless y'all you guys got the hardest job in the world you never have to worry about me applying for it all right well, who's got the ticket oh julie hurts has the ticket julie's on time but she went get a new watch from lane all right you ready ready all right, before I announce, I just want to say congratulations to all the cooks. Y'all all did great. Uh, congratulations to the top 12. I know everybody comes out here and works hard and puts their everything into it. So all of y'all in my heart are champions, and I'm so blessed to be able to look out on this stage and see all these people. This is awesome. And I'm, I'm so glad to see all the family, friends, the support that the cooks have. So, um... When I announced this winner, help me congratulate them for all that they've done this weekend. All right, we got one more thing we want to say. 2018 Champ of Champs, back-to-back, -back, Joey Cornett. Thank you, Joey. All right, so before we go any further, we announce this. I'm going to teach y'all a little Cajun French. For those of y'all that don't know, Cajun French. Okay. If you look around, you'll see people with these purple shirts with yellow on them. It says, feel judge. That's a Cajun word for I cooked and didn't make it. So. <laughs> Thank y'all. All right. So, our champion will have ticket number. Four, four, two, one, eight, two. Miss D Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. Now with twelve delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees, right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. 
The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Hey guys, it's Paul Irwin here, your realtor with Keller Williams. Now, are you looking to sell your home or do you know somebody who is? Well, I have the tools it takes to sell your home fast. Capital Drone and Real Estate is offering free aerial photography and video for a limited time only. That's right, free. Give me a call at 225-290-3363 and find out the differences that I can make. Drone footage is the thing of the future. I take advantage of every aspect of your home by using aerial photography and video that no other realtor is offering in town at this time. Give me a call to find out the differences that I can make taking homes to new heights. Four, four, two, one, eight, two. Jared Marshall! Jared Marshall. Wow. Wow. Hey, he finished second last night out of 32. He wins the championship. Come on, Jared. Chad Dixon is his helper. Dudley and DeBosia is his sponsor. Come on up, buddy. All right, y'all. I made it over with the champions. Mr. Jared Marshall, Chad Dixon. Bro, good job, y'all. Y'all beat some damn good cooks out here today. Who do y'all want to thank for this? I'd like to thank, number one, my helper, my partner, Chad Dixon. Without him, I couldn't have did it. My family, my friends, Mr. Carlos broke because we didn't have a pot to cook in, so he gave us everything we needed. And just, man, just grateful. Good job. How about you, Chad? Who you want to thank? Thank Dad for inviting me to cook with him, you know. Uh, been a good experience the last five years. Awesome. Y'all did a good job. Y'all got to come back next year and defend it. So get ready, y'all. Champions right here. All right, y'all. What a great day at the Jambalaya Festival. Y'all was really, really cool. It was some stiff competition. We got some good music, and we got a new champion crowd. But they're going to party all night here. So y'all stay tuned next week. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.